You are welcome to another video of the course F5 Big IP LTM. In this section, we are going to talk about F5 LTM One Connect profile, which help us to reuse existing idle TCP connections between Big IP and internal web servers for the next request of the same or other clients. It is used to increase the throughput of both Big IP and internal web servers. By default, for each request from the client to the big IP virtual IP, a separate three-way handshake TCP connection is created between big IP and internal servers. By LTM One Connect profile or by LTM One Connect feature, TCP connections between big IP and internal servers are not closed after the request service is completed. Big IP keeps the connection open using HTTP Keep Alive and makes the idle connections available for reuse. As you can see, all four requests are handled by just one three-way TCP connection. As you noted, implementing one connect requires HTTP Keep Alive to be enabled between big IP and internal web servers. For HTTP version 1.1, it is enabled by default, but for the HTTP version 1.0, it needs to be enabled manually. There is a test conducted by F5 that shows how much the number of connections between big IP and internal web servers is reduced when we apply one connect profile to a virtual server. 25,000 connection requests are generated from clients over 15 minutes. The number of connections from client to the big IP and from big IP to the internal web servers will be the same if we don't apply a one connect profile to the virtual server. In this figure, which does not use a one connect profile, the blue color, the number of clients requests, and pink graph, the number of server connections are exactly the same. However, using one connect profile significantly reduce the number of servers connections. In this figure, when we are using one connect profile, the number of server connections shown in pink color is much less than the number of client requests displayed in the blue color. When we configure one connect profile, some parameters can be optionally configured. Source mask specifies which clients are allowed to use an idle connection from a specific source. For example, if a client with the IP address 10.10.10.10 10, 10, 10, 10, made a request and opened a new connection and the source mask is configured as a slash 16. All other clients with the IP address in the subnet 1010 10, slash 16 are allowed to use the ideal connection. Maximum size setting represent maximum number of ideal connections which is 10,000 by default. Maximum age specifies the maximum age of a connection, which is 24 hours by default. Maximum reuse specifies the maximum number of requests to be sent over a connection, which is 1,000 by default. Ideal timeout override specifies the maximum time that idle connection are allowed to be opened by default. It is disabled, which means there is no limitation. And limit type specifies how one connect enforces connection restriction when connection limits are reached. By default, the value is none, which means one connect does not enforce any restriction. Idle means that the idle connection will be deleted when the connection limit is reached. This allows new connection to be established. A streak means that no new connection will be 
accepted until idle connections are expired. This method is not usually recommended. And finally, share pools when enabled. All virtual servers using the same one connect profile can share connections. Now the question is how we can implement one connect profile. Simply create a new one connect profile and assign it to the virtual server. Before that, make sure that an HTTP profile is assigned to both client and server in virtual server. Here I use F5 default HTTP profile to both client and server since the server used the same profile as client and then update. I also additionally apply TCP profile to both client and server. According to the F5 recommendation, I apply TCP WAN optimization. TCP WAN optimized to the clients and TCP LAN optimized to the servers which are usually on the LAN side. And then update. Now we can create a new one connect profile based on existing one connect profile in the profile and other and then one connect there is a default one connect profile these are the default values that we have already talked about i will create a new one connect profile create i don't change any parameter for example raika underline one connect update or finished and in the last step we apply one connect profile to the virtual server again we go to the virtual server here i search for one connect keyword and i will apply raika one connect to the virtual server and then update actually it is not easy for us to see the effect of one connect profile especially because we are not generating too many requests and our internal servers only support http version 1.0 and http keep alive is not activated however to check the result of one connect profile in a long time you can check it by module statistics and then local traffic and then profile summary and then one connect and view here you can see the number of idle connections the maximum number of connections how many connections are reused and how many new connections are created for example if i test to connect to the virtual IP I'm connected to the server 2 and with control F5 I will try to connect multiple times and again refresh this page you see there is no idle connection at the moment the maximum number of connection simultaneously is zero total reuse is zero but the connections which are created is counted by one connect profile as 30 which is displayed in this output.